Hello, Kevin here. In what I think must be take four because my allergies are bugging me and I, I've i sneezed or had to blow my nose and didn't have tissue handy. So anyway, box opening. And this is, as you can see, a reenactment because the box arrived just um, as I was walking to class. I packed my mailbox and I saw it. And class today was watching a movie. I just couldn't sit there for two hours with, with an unopened box next to me. So, sorry. Anyway, the pipe today is a Luciano. I've seen Lucianos online before. I'm not, they're really nice, and price is not bad. Um, and they're, they make a really good medium, um, mid-range um, Italian pipe. Uh, from what I've seen, anyway. I haven't smoked one yet. No, no, that's about to change. And this is the pipe of the year. And you may know that I collect Econo pipes, uh, particularly, I'm sorry. So I, I collect Econo pipes, and this is not a Econo pipe, obviously, it's a Luciano pipe. Um, but here's the interesting thing, is after I ordered it, uh, I looked at the same pipe on some other websites, um, and uh, found something pretty interesting, which is that the pipe was designed by Tonino Yacono, which just goes to show how much I like his pipes, that I picked them even when I don't uh, know that they're his. Alright, so I looked at it very briefly, put it back in the box. Uh, the packaging is quite nice. I mean, obviously, first got, got the, the box that it came in with a lot of, um, gee, what do you call these things? But you know what they are. Doesn't matter. You got, you got the, this one, and in here you got, you know, it's like a little nerdy uh, pencil case uh, with a zipper in it. In here, you have the actual pipe sock. You know, there's still more stuff in here, but the pipe is next, and then I'll show you some more. All right, so this is the 2014 Luciano Pipe of the Year. Uh, designed by Tonino Yacono, and I'm just going to do it all at once, boom, and I thought that is just absolutely lovely pipe, um, the grain on it is, is fantastic, um, nice volcano shape, uh, I'm not sure what this is, it may be, there's some literature in there, it may, it may be in there, uh, but some kind of pipe extension here. Um, the, there's, there's not a flush, the briar and the, where they, and the stem where they meet is not flush, like, like, like here. I mean, like most pipes are like this, it's, it's, it's like, like one side line where the briar and, and the stem, which is not my favorite. I, I prefer when they're like, when they're like this, when there's some kind of disjoint, when there's something in between them. Something to break up the, the line. He has an interesting um, logo. Can you see the, the two dots? The one white dot and one silver silver dot. Um, very light and very comfortable. Now, I said that was not all. In the sock was not only the pipe, but yet another sock. In the, this is like a Russian doll, right? In the sock, in this mini sock, comes the literature, and it, it says um, date of creation May two thousand fourteen. And this is probably the only pipe that I have in my collection where I actually know the month it was made. Uh, Number 12 of 100 pipes made. Didn't realize that. Um, Briar origin is from Tuscany, Italy. It's about the finish, the air hole drilling. Um, mouthpiece is black lucite. Uh, here we go, that's what I'm looking for. The embellishment, that's, that's the thing between the stem. Uh... Spelted tamarind wood. 
Okay, I, I don't know if all of his pipes come with this kind of nomenclature uh, of, of literature, or, or if it's just the uh, pipe of the year. But it, it's it's a nice it's a nice touch to have that. Excuse me. Sorry, and believe me, it's a lot better now than it was uh, a few hours ago. I woke up this morning, I just could not stop. But I do have to keep washing my hands. So, as you may know from watching videos I've made in the past, and you may not know, uh, I do not... It's a little hot here. I, I do not... Um, I do not decide... Okay, I need a pipe that's dedicated for Latakia, so this one is going to be my Latakia pipe. Instead, what I do is I just I buy a new pipe and I try all different kinds of tobacco in it. And eventually, I find one. Usually, I find one that's just like one combination that's like, oh my god, this is just this is perfect. Um, but what I'm trying first. Is an old, I just opened it, but it's an old favorite. I haven't had it in a while. Good old uh, jackknife plug. Well, it's not too old. I mean, it's, it's a relatively new blend. Been out for a few years now. Um, I'm not sure that a. I'm not sure it's gonna be the best pipe for break, the best blend for breaking in a pipe. But you know, it'll get broken in anyway, sooner or later. Okay, I do no special tricks. I do not do the honey thing anymore. I used to. I do not do the thing with, you know, smoke a quarter of a bowl the first time, finish it. Smoke half a bowl. You know, I don't, I don't do that. Um, okay, so here comes uh, the... the I, I pre-rubbed that out before, before the video. That would be a pretty boring video if you had to watch me rub it out. Uh, or cut it up, rather. Got a good draw. Mm, you can taste the uh, can taste the jackknife with it pretty strongly without even before I uh, light it up. Okay. Ah. It blew up before I got it charred. Why won't it stay lit? There's plenty of plenty of fluid in there. Good stuff, Maynard. Well, it's definitely not the pipe spot that's not staying lit, is it? It's definitely in, in, the, in the lighter. Like, as soon as I take one puff, it goes out. See? Anyway, my friends. <coughs> I was a sneeze coming. Anyway, I'm enjoying my pipe. Hope you're enjoying yours. See you later.